what is going on everybody welcome to this tutorial number 16 i'm mehul and in this tutorial i'm going to show you how you can use popovers in your web page with the help of bootstrap now popovers unlike the tooltips which we learned in the last tutorial are kind of more um, bigger you can say bigger than tooltips and they are you know kind of more appealing to the user than a tooltip because they can stay even when you you know just take your mouse cursor off the link which you want to show the pop-up on so let's just create a pop over so let me just choose a word here uh, let's just say let's go with this word so to create a pop over again I'm just gonna make use of this href but you can make use of any tag like span or whatever you want to do I'm just making use of a because that makes the word blue so that it is distinguishable from the other words so here you go and uh, let's just add a data pop over again just like we did in the tooltip one and um, what else let's just say title as my first pop over and in the content if you want to add the content you need to add data content here so yeah so you need to follow this you are free to use your own here because that would be um, initialized by jQuery but make sure to use the title as this and data content here so the content would be like anything you want to display this would become clear in a bit so let's just say I just display this is a little message L little human and here you go so let me just get rid of that a tag and the next thing obviously we'll need to initialize that via our script and instead of just removing that what you can do is just copy it again and right here pop over and instead of this obviously write pop over and all of these methods you don't need to worry about them because they are coming from this file which you have included and since this is a bootstrap file you know that's a part of framework so let's reload this and go down and as you can see this one and when I click on this you see that it jumps on the top because I'm using ahref but you see the first popover appears so to fix that what we can do is instead of this href you can write javascript void and that should pretty much fix up the problem as you can see or else what you can do is make use of span tag or whatever you like so you see that this toggles the popover and you know you can just take off your mouse anywhere you want and to close it you can click on the link again so that's how you use popovers in um, bootstrap and uh, yeah so let me see if I missed anything and I guess yeah so you can make use of another thing called data placement now this data placement is the position of your popover so let's just say if I do it like top okay now when I view this on my browser and click on this again you see firstly it was appearing on the right side of this link but now it appears on the top and similarly you can customize it for various positions like left or bottom or right which was the default one it's up to you so yeah that's how you use it and one thing you can see now that is when you click outside this pop-up doesn't go away so that's kinda you know a bit not user-friendly because obviously this makes sense that if you click outside something then this should close automatically but this close on clicking the link only so to fix that what you can do is I guess I reloaded the page never mind so to fix that what you can do is you can go to your jQuery or not jQuery I guess just go to your link here and just say data trigger and the value here would be 
focus and I guess the files didn't load up correctly okay so what focus does is that let's say I click on this and I click outside here so you see now the pop-up closes automatically but if I change this focus to hover and then I reload this again you can see as I hover with the link this pop-up appears and disappears so this kind of behaves like the tooltip which we have right here you see and let's try to make use of this data trigger with tooltip who knows it might work let's just say data trigger um, what we made use of there focus yeah so let's just try okay so this works with tooltips as well so you can customize the tooltips like you can do it with pop-ups here so you know the functionality is quite you know uh, open to the developer you can choose whatever you want you can make it focus or you can make it on hover like this so yeah so that's all for this popover one and I'll see you there next time don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching